Okay, right, this is a uh, attempt number five, I think. <laughs> and the reason why this has been difficult is because um, I think it was Friday, uh, no, it was um, Sunday, I changed my Windows 8 system to a Linux system. But for some reason, I couldn't see this. The quality of this isn't going to be much better, but it's better than what I was using on the Linux system and that's horrible because I really wanted to use a Linux system but in order to carry on doing what I'm doing I've had to uh, I've had to put the uh, Windows 8 back on uh, but I am building another machine and I'm going to put Linux on that and, and keep both machines on the go uh, but what I want to show you is, is how this works I built it a few days ago a week ago whatever um, and it's got three buttons on the back uh, for the functions of these and what I'm going to do oh, no, just have a look, here's the three buttons I uh, can't see that very well the, the lighting's terrible, I'm really sorry I've really got to get this sorted out but I can pull that a little bit no, no, let's have a look there we go, look, you got three buttons. One, two, three. But for the sake of this, I'm going to move this down here. I should have probably done all this. Uh, for, there you go. I wonder what it looks like that on the front. Oh, there you go, that's probably a bit better. So, three buttons. One, two, three. Behind there. One, two, three. Now, I'm going to go from left to right. Now, the left to right is the best at first in a way because you get to see the different effects so you can see what this is doing here it's you know just dropping one down and filling up until it's 55 six yeah okay so we're going to click it to the, the button furthest to the left of course this is random um, which is okay it's not my favorite this one's quite nice, I quite like this. Maybe if we give it more power. I'm using two and a half volts at the minute on this. Um, but it's like five volts, so I'm going to go up to like 3.5 volts. Just because otherwise it was getting too bright for the other. So that's quite bright now, isn't it? So I'm going to go down to three volts. There you go, just take the edge off the brightness. It's five volts, this thing is. Uh, it says to operate from um, it's a clock it's temperature uh, gauge it's it is the date and it's also got an alarm feature um, and a burning feature which I'm not completely understanding what that's all about but it's where you can just do some adjustments and you know get, get your own your own things on the go if you so wish to, <laughs> to do so that's your desire it's not mine but so and that's that one that was pretty good uh, wouldn't suggest having that one on too much when you're drinking and as you can see like it displays the time 21 15 that's that quarter past nine which it is now it's 22 degrees in here uh, we could really let my hands around the back as well year uh, month and a day a little bit quick that is when and then we go back to the time and that's how it cycles it just keeps going round and round and round and round like that uh, this one's quite nice, I think this is my second favourite it's the one that was my favourite to start off with it's quite busy and it's got it's about four different ways of doing this I quite like it me and the other way around and then it just it starts that cycle all over again look. I think that's quite nice, that is quite nice. That one's pretty good. That one's different to the other one. The other one was just going round and round and this one there is a difference to it. Like all the LEDs, red ones I think they're flashing at the same time, I'm not sure. No, they're not. No, oh, I don't know, but it is different to the other one. And this uh, is probably my, my favourite because it's so simple, but then the next one's even more simple. I do, I do quite like that. Uh, and then there's, 
oh no okay that's uh so that's just filling up 50 one two three this is pretty cool pretty cool watching that time take my right, this one is probably the most basic I quite like that I quite like the simplicity of it it's quite nice so and then if you press the middle button so you got your from your left middle and then the right one the middle button on the back so easy to fill you away you may as well because if you were using it that's probably uh, that's probably how you do it and sort of fill your weight so and if you press the the middle button this is where you get to um, change the date settings there the um, 10th month 16th day um, the hours of course you can see that and the minutes and then he goes through that cycle again if you press the same button the middle button and hold it in just keep holding it there we go now that one off you can toggle that by pressing the, the left button which makes it go round and round of course and you can toggle it on and off and what that is is the hourly beep which is bloody annoying it only does it between certain times 8 in the morning and 10 at night or something but even so it's just annoying and if you press it again that I think is a uh, I'm not sure what that is I don't know if that's the actual alarm on or off but I've turned it off um, that could be an alarm time I'm not sure now because okay I was just pressing the, the one that changes uh, you know adds incrementally the, the, the time and you can't go backwards you can only go forwards you can hold it down that wasn't that strange because that just went up to 13 40 okay 24 so I don't know what this is all about because now that's number four five six and then off I, I i don't know what that's about i know that there's a burn feature i think that's the alarm but as i've not been successful right now it's after all that it's put us back now you know to the uh to the actual clock to the display and the third button is so simple it's just a um, it's a it's a it's a power cycle it's just cycles it on and off it's the reset button they call it but I don't know it doesn't actually reset anything as such it just cycles it on and off because the data and everything's still there so yeah that's um that's how you use that that's the DS1302 clock kit from eBay it's kind of been temperature because my handles around the back there and the little the little temperature sensor is there that silver tube and that's where my hands was from the back it's not that difficult to put together if you haven't done SMD before um, surface mount devices it's a little bit scary this is my second SMD I did a DSO 138 um, I've done plenty of the other ones without you doing the SMDs yourself the, the, but the new updated version with the updated software and they give you for the same price <laughs> and you got to do all the SMD work yourself yeah. I was dreading it but I hadn't done this I bought this a long, quite a while ago about four months ago and I hadn't done it because the SMD but when the DSOs came in um, in order for me to build them and, and give them out I had to um, I had to do them so then I thought oh, I'll, I'll do these and I'm not scared of it now it's not great but it's better than the first DSO um, and I've ordered two more of these given to my grandsons for in their bedroom on their bedroom wall I figured I'd uh, put a battery on maybe one of these because it works two and a half volts you see and this is a uh, but this is up 3.7 volts now and that'll last quite a while but I'm going to attach it up later and put it on uh, I'm going to see how long it lasts but I need to I don't want it to drop too far I have got this I've got some um, charges off eBay. I think they're about pound fifty for two of them, and they're five volt charger, so you can plug in uh, USB 
you know, 5 volt connector and it's also got uh, so you won't take it too far down in power but I need to work out exactly how to do that that's a 3.7 volt batteries yeah and that's what these are I've got some little round ones as well so I might just put two of them on so I could put one on each side or something I'm not sure anyway yeah not a bad little kit thanks for watching guys catch you soon